Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. All those yeah. kids yeah. will be yeah. following us, right? Yeah. It's yeah. extremely important what the doing here today. Well, I guess you're ready, right? Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, thank you for weathering this cold uh, temperature out there. And I know that it wasn't snowing, so it made it a little easier. Uh, and uh, uh, this is a press conference that's going to lead to a hearing in the coming weeks. And it was important, and I have to say that there have been articles after articles in the paper regarding uh, the fate of, uh, of the Bay Park sewage plant. But before I even get into that, uh, I would like to say that after the devastation uh, <clears throat> on uh, Bay Park due to Superstorm Sandy, uh, we really had a top priority uh, to make sure that the Bay Park facility was something that everyone would give attention to and make sure that it would be, uh, would become whole. And so we have to thank our elected officials, County Executive Mangano, uh, working together with uh, Senator Majority Leader Dean Skelos, Governor Cuomo, and Senator Schumer. They were very pivotal in obtaining the funding that was needed uh, to restore and rebuild uh, the Bay Park facility. And for that, we are extremely grateful. And it was to the tune of $810 million. Okay. And uh, that plant, because of their efforts, will be a plant that will withstand future storms for the next 40 some odd years. And but like everything else, the work is never done. And we have a lot more to do. And just like we had assistance from our elected officials in restoring Bay Park, we need some more financial assistance from our federal and state governments in two ways. The nitrogen removal system and an out ocean outfall plant. Uh, the plans to, lead, to do these, uh, these uh, projects remain very unsettled. And uh, this is one of the reasons why we're here today, despite the efforts of our local and state and federal officials. The cost for that outfall pipe is something to, uh, to the tune of $546 million to $700 million. Uh, and of course, the nitrogen uh, removal system is $150 million. Now, from an economic standpoint, the number is a mere fraction, and listen to this one, of the many, many dollars that we send to, uh, to our state and federal governments to the tune of $28 billion. This is not just NASA, it is definitely a Long Island contribution to the state and federal governments. Now, we need more of those tax dollars here in in uh, Nassau County so that we can return uh, the improvements at Bay Park to the standards that it should, uh, should be. Now, the LIA, the Long Island Association, uh, released a report, and I believe a little more than a week ago, uh, saying to the fact that we, we uh, contribute $28 billion, Long Island that is, more to the federal and state governments than any other uh, community in or counties in Nassau County, in, in the state, in the government, I'm sorry, in the United States. We need to get some of that money back. And this is not happening anytime soon. Just think about it. $28 billion would mean, would really fund 40, 40 alcohol pipes. And uh, if this was part, if this were possible, uh, we certainly would have no problem in getting uh, the outdoor pipe and, of course, the nitrogen uh, removal system. Nassau County is a good investment. And so today, we're calling upon our state and federal representatives to continue to work together to secure the funding needed to build uh, those important upgrades and protect the water quality of our, of our western bays. In the coming weeks, we will convene a hearing of our Public Works Committee uh, to explore the rebuilding efforts of the Bay Park facility and discuss our funding options for these important uh, environmental issues. One thing you need to 
uh, we need to make clear. And this is not a, a partisan issue, this is a bipartisan issue. There isn't a member of this legislature uh, on both sides of the aisle who do not think that the environment is a priority. Any legacy we leave should be an environment that provides for a clean and safe place for our young people to grow up in. And so that's where we're at today. And would you like to say something? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can you just say your full name and where you live? Denise Ford. I live in the city of Long Beach. And I'm here with Jacob, my grandson. <laughs> and I felt it was important to bring him here today. Oh, okay. You know, so, uh, you know, I, and I thank uh, the presiding officer very much uh, for having this press con conference um, and also to make the announcement that we will be having a much needed hearing on the Bay Park sewage treatment plant as well as uh, specifically the outflow pipe. I live in the area of the South Shore. I represent the area where the Western Bays are and I, and I look forward to, in this hearing, to have uh, everybody listen to how long and how hard we've been fighting to get this outflow pipe installed. It is very, very important that it gets done. It's not just the Bay Park sewage treat plant that pumps its influence into the Western Bays and into Reynolds Channel, but also Long Beach, of Atlantic Beach, as well as Cedar, Cedarhurst and Lawrence. You know, these, uh, we uh, conducted, we have been conducting a study, uh, and thank you very much to Senator Skelos and former Assemblyman Hardy Wiesenberg that secured the funding for a TMDL study of the Western Bays. And based on scientific data, we know that the Western Bays are severely impaired. And the only hope and the only solution that we have to bring these waterways back so that we can have fishing, we can have water sports, and can have pristine water is to put in an outflow pipe. We're, we have called upon the governor, we have called upon the federal gov uh, government to listen to our pleas and to listen to our voices. It's time that they listen once again and start doing something about this and give us the relief. Those of us in the South Shore are well deserving of the attention and the money and give us our outdoor pipe and let us get our communities back. Thank you. Thank you, Legislative Board. And I believe um, Legislative Dunn would like to say a few words. Thank you. You know, this isn't something that's just a nice thing to have and La La Land was asking for, for all sorts of gifts and stuff. This is a necessity. We need that sewage treatment plant to be brought back just like we did at Cedar Creek. Cedar Creek was falling apart and we poured a ton of money into it and we had federal and, and state support. Well, I gotta tell you, I've been to Bay Park with Denise and, and with Norma and I'm, I've gotta tell you, they need help. They need it desperately. I have had family that lived in on Reynolds Channel, and they can't go on boats out there, they can't fish there, they can't do the water skiing like they used to. They can't even dive with the docks and do a little bit of swimming. They can't do any of that because it's disgusting. When it's low tide, you smell it. It's awful. That pipe has got to go underneath Reynolds Channel and out into the ocean to save our waterways. It, it's, it's, it's not a nice thing to have, it's necessary. And the upkeep of that facility to now shortchange us on the monies that were promised is wrong. It's terribly wrong. Like Norma Gonzalo said, our presiding officer, we pay a lot of money into the state and we get a very little back. We're asking for a little bit more back to help put that plan back on its feet and make sure we finish the project. Thank you. Here's the future. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce and, and I'm legislator Rose Walker and this is my grandson. A, uh, Lucas. I have two others and a, and a fourth on the way. But as was said before, it isn't just about now. We need to clean this up. We need to do the right thing for our residents today. But we need to do the right thing for our residents in the future. And here are two of them right here. So uh, hopefully we get that funding and do what's right and do what's best for all of us. Thank you. Okay, today's uh, press conference is certainly a beginning, and as I said, uh, in the next few weeks, we will uh, be putting together a, a, a public hearing. Now, I don't know if there's any questions on the part of the reporters who are here. Uh, hopefully, we can answer them. And, uh, uh, Norma, we talked about state and federal money. Uh, do you conceive a situation where there'd be any county money available for other projects? At the present time, no. 
This is something that we've requested a long time. And we did have, last May uh, 2014, we did have a commitment from Senator Schumer uh, using the CD um, um, BG funding for the $150, $150 million uh, for the uh, uh, nitrogen removal system. So that's supposed to be a pass through uh, to the state, and that's where, that, this is where we're going with, with that particular uh, part of the project. So uh, hopefully, you know, uh, that uh, if we can get, like I said to you before, $28 million that Long Island gives to federal and state governments. And uh, it's about time some of that comes back to us, especially for, uh, for a, a, uh, two projects that are definitely needed for Nassau County. So and I, I believe that's where it's going. And when you saw them, it was missing from the state budget, was that the first indication that you had that the uh, funding could be in jeopardy? I mean, you're basically yes. saying, show me the money. And, and let me say something to you. I read that article, yeah. and it was very disconcerting when I read it, uh, because I uh, didn't see any way that this $150 million, which was committed by uh, Senator Schumer, uh, reaching uh, Nassau County for this uh, nitrogen removal system. So that, yeah, that was one of the impetus uh, in uh, uh, prompting this press conference today, and that's in all honesty. Have county and local officials reached out to the governor and to the senator to try to directly lobby them for this before it's you come It's my on understanding public the county executive, uh, Mangano, has been working with uh, the, uh, the governor in trying to get this money incorporated into the budget, uh, and since it was a commitment made by Senator Schumer uh, to use those CDPG uh, uh, monies, uh, that it, there is a very good possibility that it can be included in the uh, 2015 budget. What do you need to know by it? You know, how, how urgent is this? How urgent? You know, the two projects are, are, if you ask some of the environmental groups, they will say, like yesterday. All right? Uh, they, I think as long as we get a, attention given to these two projects, uh, I, it, it will move. And it's always a question of uh, getting the money to do it. And I said to you before, uh, with $28 billion, it should not be a problem. And, and this, is, this is, I would like to see it sooner than later. You have to get off the dime sometime. Um, did, did you invite uh, members of the Democratic Caucus to take part in today's press conference? No, I mean, you said it's bipartisan yes, effort, but... I just said to you, I believe that the... Uh, the, the um, Environment is a issue that is supported by both sides of the aisle. This was something that we did not really have much time yes, in, in putting together. But the public hearing is going to be one which both, both sides of the aisle will certainly be a part of. Would you say that the public hearing will be in March? I would like to see it in March, yes. If we, need to, we need to continue to get a progress report and, and see if these monies are forthcoming and when they're going to be forthcoming. It would be nice to know that it will be in the uh, in the budget on April the 1st uh, as the state budget and that $150 million, which was committed by uh, the Senator Schumer, uh, will be realized uh, very, very soon. Any, any other questions? No other questions? I know you have, uh, there was uh, uh, another press conference today and sometimes, you know, it's hard to do uh, two in one day, but then again, I thank you for being here primarily because I'm sure you did one earlier, and uh, it, uh, it means a lot to us to make sure that the message gets out. State and federal governments have to assist Nassau County because we are a good investment. And that's, that's basically uh, what's this, what it's all about. Thank you. Thank you very much, and thank you again for being here today.